Finally decided I would take Rico up on his offer and do some snorkeling with the Tough Enough boys. Our dive instructors, Dave and Ariel, they went through all the ropes like they had to, and then we got out in the water and uh, went snorkeling. Whole Chan Marine Reserve and Shark Ray Alley. This is going to be a totally new experience for me. And hey, don't give me a hard time about the shirt. My son gave it to me, so that's where all well, we're going to say about that. The fish were immediate, and after we'd formed up, turned around and started to head in the current, under every boat there was just a ton of fish, around every coral head. This is a purple fan coral, well, almost two feet across. Ariel marked a spot with a couple of the other unusual fish. And I'm sorry, I don't know the names. I do know that the two here are Barracuda. It was a pretty incredible afternoon. We were in the water twice, once here in the reserve and then once at Shark Ray Alley. I have to admit, that was uh, kind of a scary thought until you actually got there and see what it entailed. A very interesting adventure. Once they chummed the water at Shark Ray Alley, the sharks come in and so do everybody else. This is Stumpy. I figure that he lost his tail by an outboard motor many years ago, but he's still a happy little camper. But as you can see, the sharks pay no attention to the divers in the water, and neither do the other fish. The noises that you occasionally hear, the thumps or the bangs, are the fish actually running into the GoPro or the boom that I'm using. And the mantas were just incredible to watch along the bottom in the seagrass. But I don't think I've ever been as close to sharks before, or rays. I expected schools of little tiny things, but these guys were anywhere between a foot to 18 inches long. This guy was a lot bigger. <laughs> There were a lot of people who were far better snorkelers than I were, as you can see by the gent going across the bottom there. The mantas hung around the whole time. They knew where the food was. There goes one of the sharks. Had enough, time to go. It was a great experience. Tough enough guys know their stuff. They keep you out there for a little bit of adventure, but they keep you safe as well. I'm definitely going to go back and do this next year when we come back. Gotta get more footage like this. <laughs> Just amazing. When was the last time you actually touched a manta ray? No cages, no fences. They say that you can do two dives a day, snorkeling or scuba, for ten days and never repeat the same dive. That would be great. So, for my first snorkeling adventure, it's Dr. Mucker out. Bye bye